With a heavily armed army escort, we're on a bone-crunching mountainous drive to Bunaire. We pass burnt-out wrecks, and then we are there. It looks like a paradise, but until a month ago, this district was controlled by the Taliban. You can see yourself that normalcy is returning in the area. The government's brought us here to their operations base in the heart of Bunaire to show us they are now in control. The Taliban defeated. There was about 1,000 miscreants which were controlling the whole Bunaire districts. Uh, and uh, in the process, we killed about 490 uh, miscreants. The message they want out, once electricity is restored, the near half million displaced from this area can return. Inshallah, uh, the work has been started on it. I have sent two teams from this side. One of the team has come from that side. And once it is restored, you will see a quick return of the people. In and how As I ask my next question, an official ushers us on. <laughs> It is to be a high-speed tour. This is Sultan Was. It's the most heavily destroyed village, the army says. Over 80% of the houses here damaged. The reason? This is the village that put up the most resistance to the Taliban in Bunair. They formed a local fighting force, a local militia. The buildings are flattened, bombed by the Pakistani Air Force, after the Taliban beat the militia and took control of the village. Soldiers still seem wary of villagers. Local officials say some Taliban escaped, hiding among the displaced families. The local police chief plays down the threat. They may be come back, but they have been identified. Now they are exposed. They are exposed to the people and they are exposed to the law enforcing agencies. As our trip continues, from what we see, apart from Sultan Was, most villages escape major damage. A few, close to big army posts, are even returning to normal life, but not all. So this is the place where the Taliban first took control in Bunair, Pir Baba, a very religious place. They were wandering around with their weapons, and it really set the tone for the beginning of their control of this area. Inside, the Taliban damaged the shrine, a relatively easy repair to make. Outside on the streets, the fix may be harder not just convincing people it's safe to return to all the villages here, but stopping the Taliban from winning influence over villagers as they did before. It is very important because uh, without uh, giving them all the facilities, the people will feel more uh, against the government. The stakes could not be higher. Across the country, the offensive against the Taliban is widening. Getting returns right in Bunair will impact way beyond this secluded valley. Nick Robertson, CNN, Bunair, Pakistan.